Please stand, wave your arms, <laughs> get an usher, tell them you think you heard a lie, they will come up and challenge the lie, <laughs> right here live on stage. Strap me to a lie detector. <laughs> Um, we have a great show for you tonight. Are you ready to start this show? Yes. Who, 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 where, 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 why, 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 how, 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 when, 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 the reporter's questions. All right, coming to this stage is the person that I did not quite know how to describe because I didn't, let me be honest, I did not want to give away who he was. There's really only one way to describe him. He's a treasure hunter. Please welcome to the stage, Brock Lovett. Hi, everybody. <laughs> hey, how you doing? Hi, Scott. How's it going, man? It's good to see you. Wow, it's a pleasure to be here. This is great. Hey, shout out to the balcony. Brock, 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 Brock. No, we're not doing shout outs to the balcony. I just did, man. You just saw it happen. <laughs> hey, Scott, full disclosure? Yeah. I had a gigantic bond me from the place next door. <laughs> And I'm ready to curl up and go to bed. <laughs> I'm going to say it hit me one second before I got on stage. Here's the problem with the bomb me. It's shaped like a bed. Yeah, you want to get in it. <laughs> it's shaped like a sleeping bag, isn't it? It's shaped like a sleeping bag. One of the few sandwiches to be shaped like a sleeping bag. Unless you have a circular... Bed? <laughs> sleeping bag. Oh, yeah, sleeping bag. Yeah. I forgot. I'm a little tired. <laughs> How do we have to wake you up here? What do we do? Man, I don't know. Keep me talking. <laughs> don't, don't let me fall asleep. Don't you. Stay with me, Brock. Stay with Whatever me. Whatever happens, don't let me fall asleep on stage. <laughs> I would never do that, of course. I hope not, man. No. Brock, you let's explain uh, who you are to the people. Uh, sure, I'd be pleased as punch as pilot to do that. Yeah. <laughs> Is that where pleased as punch came from? Yep. It's a nickname for an expression. <laughs> You're allowed to do that. There's no law against it. Yeah, why do we only give nicknames to people? I mean, people do, uh, you know, two shakes. That's two shakes of a lamb's tail, and they shorten it. Is touche short for two shakes of a lamb's yeah. tail? <laughs> because it used to be in fencing. <laughs> you'd get somebody, and you'd be like, you lost in two shakes of a lamb's tail. <laughs> no, what? Hey. What happens when you say touche? That's when they got you. <laughs> Brock. You, you stab somebody, and then the, the somebody that got stabbed says, touche, you got me. Brock, did you have an edible also before you came out on stage? I mean, sandwiches are edible. <laughs> hey. <laughs> you you're the one there. saying it looks like a sleeping bag. Maybe you're high, dude. <laughs> I think we both might be. <laughs> Maybe. Do you think we got drugged? <laughs> somebody dosed our bond me's? <laughs> Is this the new wave in <laughs> party drugging? Is people drug your sandwich? <laughs> Sorry, my voice is making me cough a little. I understand. Yeah. It must happen to you a lot. What a curse. <laughs> so now, Brock Lovett, you are, uh, I said you were a treasure hunter. That's that is right, accurate. Is that not? Totally accurate. I'm a treasure hunter, but I only hunt for wet treasure. Only stuff that's under the sea or under a little bit of water? Let me ask a question. So you've certainly, a man like you, has read the book Treasure Island. Yeah. Pirates. Etc. Little boy. <laughs> right. You read it as a little boy and you go, that would be cool to do. You read it as an adult and you're like, what was going on with those pirates? Um, I don't remember a lot about the book except being disappointed that the treasure was uh, under the ground. But this is my question. So much of it is on the, the sea. 
And yeah. then they get to the treasure, and it's on this little tiny island surrounded by water. I know, so close. <laughs> <laughs> Almost perfect. <laughs> Starring Jamie Lee Curtis. Okay. <laughs> what was that again? Wasn't it her and... Uh, Richard uh, Lewis. Richard Lewis. Hey, show. do you remember when Richard Lewis was doing those commercials for juice boxes? <laughs> no. <laughs> they were trying... There was a time in the 90s where they were trying to get adults to drink juice boxes. And it was called Boku. And Richard Lewis, for some reason, was the spokesman. And he'd be like, oh, I love to have a Boku. I'm an adult. It's sophisticated. It's like, that's a juice box. That's like if you try to sell drinking out of a baby bottle to adults. Like, oh, I, I, love, I love to have a little, <laughs> little, a little bit of milk before I go to bed. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Come on, man. That doesn't sound bad right now, though. A little milk, then go to bed. <laughs> I wish you hadn't said that <laughs> after I said it. <laughs> so you are, um, you're, okay, so you, you, you get out there in the... I feel like every time I see you, yeah. you got to reset what you know about me. Well, And, it's, and, and i got to tell you, it's a little insulting. I beg your pardon. I know everything about you. I just, there are some people here who have never or even heard a single episode you've been on. Hold on a second. Yeah. By a round of applause, how many people have seen the 1997 movie Titanic? <laughs> Everybody knows who I am. Get a load of this. Are you ready to go back to Titanic? <laughs> that was me. I, st I still think you need further explaining. <laughs> because people, people, they mainly... If they remember the Titanic, they think about Jack out there on the iceberg. Who cares? They think about uh, uh, Kate Winslet uh, uh, being drawn. See, I think of it as the story of a treasure hunter who gets ripped off by an old lady. Usually it's the other way around. Yeah, true. Young people are ripping off the old people. True, but not treasure hunters. No. There's, there's a code, you know what I mean? What's the code? Don't rip people off. <laughs> So, what, what is ripping people Pretty simple off code. to you? I mean... Well, you don't, like... If someone buries their treasure on their property... Right. Are you allowed to, to hunt for that treasure? Only or? if there's a map. <laughs> if it's a personal treasure, and they bury it in their front yard or whatever, I can't just... I can't know about it and say, I'm going to dig up that treasure. There has to be a map, and it has to be found in a weird place. <laughs> So if you if if you bury your treasure in your front yard, keep your map at home. Yeah, you got. Don't like keep it in a dust drawer. <laughs> That's a logical place. It's got to be like miles away somewhere. Yeah. So uh, so you're the guy at the beginning of the movie who the uh, is looking in the end. And the end. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> who's looking for a couple times in the middle? <laughs> it immediately <laughs> just stops the movie short. <laughs> hey. Now, look, that's not my fault. That wasn't actually me. It's a guy playing me in the movie. That's right. Bill uh, Paxton played Sure. You. Yeah. You're the real guy. I'm the real Brock Lovett. <laughs> hey, thanks. <laughs> you're the guy who talks to the old lady, and you're looking for the, the thing, the necklace. The Cour de la Mer. <laughs> the heart of the ocean. <laughs> And she has it on the whole time. Yeah, she had it the whole goddamn time. <laughs> I had to listen to her for hours. <laughs> Tell me all about this bullshit. Some guy that was her boyfriend, and then he, he like, grabbed a baby from somebody so he could get on a boat. Like, where's the necklace? Because that was the only dog you had in that hunt, right? You didn't care about the only dog the I had in that hunt. It's either you have a dog in that fight, or that dog won't hunt. But you can't mash them up like you're on no. a reality show. Those people drive me nuts. I was watching one, and somebody said, "Oh yeah, she's the new chip on the block." What? No, you messed up two sayings. This is stuff that gets me mad. <laughs> you watch a lot of reality TV, Buck? Yeah, I shouldn't. <laughs> I know I shouldn't. But I'm a messy bitch and I love drama. 
I bet you're also hoping they drop treasure at some point and you go, oh my God, I know where that is. Yeah, I mean, if, if it's a show that's set near <laughs> an ocean, I get very excited because <laughs> a lot of these people are rich. Below decks. Oh, below de- But it's, it's, it's all about the crew. They don't have any treasure. But maybe they see someone dropping the treasure and they're like... Well, they're not going to tell me. <laughs> Do you know how many deaths there are from amateur treasure hunters? How many? A million. <laughs> A million a year. A year? Yeah. <laughs> a million a year. Wow. It's horrible. People go treasure crazy. They have like, uh, what do they call it in the Lord of the Rings, where they're like gold uh, fever or something like that? Yeah. What? <laughs> gold fever? <laughs> it's like, they're, were there prospectors in Lord of the Rings? <laughs> I watched those movies once. I don't remember them. <laughs> Cold fever. Disco fever. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, they get disco fever. <laughs> In Lord of the Rings. <laughs> Is Lord of the Rings set a long time ago? The current day present <laughs> or in the future? I think it's in the future. That's where we're going to end up, man. It's yeah. not good. <laughs> Are we all the sh- little shorties, or do we turn We're out to be We're going to become Gandalf's? the little shorties. Really? And then <laughs> the older people are the taller people, and that's us, right? Mm. And then the newer people are the shorties, and then we're going to turn into those shorties. <laughs> Holy shit. I know, man. <laughs> wow. I, you know what? I think I am a little high. <laughs> I think so, too. <laughs> I ate like... um. After the bomb me, I ate like, it was like a whole mushroom. Yeah, I had, I had that sliver that you cut off for me. <laughs> sliver. <laughs> oh, are you mixing up the Sharon Stone movie Sliver with Thinner? Yep. Man, what's with you, dude? I can't figure you out sometimes. Sliver. <laughs> and then what happens? He turned into a sliver? Yeah. I guess that's what happens in both movies. A sliver is involved. He gets very thin. He gets skinny as a neato. <laughs> so you 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 you're the guy who <laughs> We're still explaining me? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Anyway, we get it, right? We uh, we know who he is. <laughs> you're out there, you're doing treasure. What's the what's doing the... treasure? <laughs> What's the biggest thing that leads to these million deaths a year? I mean, what's the biggest mistake people are Man, making? It's sad. Well, a lot of people don't realize you need scuba equipment to go down deep in the ocean. Anything below 20 feet? Yeah. You, you want should, scuba equipment, you right? Get scuba, or, you know, you get one of my little uh, bubble dudes. Like, Yeah, the, like what, I was those, trying to think of what it was called well, before. Uh, yeah, I forget what you called it. but it, <laughs> You're in I it all the time. It. I know, I like, but it was not the proper term. But when you said it, I was like, yeah, I like that. Yeah. <laughs> it's like uh, domosphere. Or Domos, something. I think you said domosphere. <laughs> no, that's not what he said, dear. <laughs> We're not looking for the correct thing. <laughs> <laughs> I wish she was as high as we were because she'd be on the same wavelength. <laughs> please get high next time you come see us, please. We're begging you. <laughs> domosphere. So I get in that and I go down, way, 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 way down, where the fish are all gross. <laughs> One guy's got like a light bulb on his head. It's weird. Did you see that walking shark the other day? What? <laughs> They've never had video of it up till now. They finally took a video of one. Don't tell me this. Yeah. It was on Shark Week. It's like a- They a- saved it? <laughs> <laughs> For Shark Week? Yeah. You think they would have released it? That like- should be front page news. <laughs> Sharks are walking now. I know what you're thinking. It's not like he's like walking around like, hey, what's up? Okay. I didn't think he was waving at people. <laughs> he's not the waving shark. You're right. <laughs> but he's like, he, he, he gets out there like on where there's stones and shit. Like shallow water you're talking about? Yeah. <laughs> And you just kind of like, 
and just like goes over the stones and then goes back to swimming. So he's just like coming out, taking a peek, and then going back in? I think he likes it. He's like, check out what I can but he, do. He doesn't stay. What, what brand of shark are we talking about here? <laughs> I think it had a name, definitely. I, I wasn't. I mean, it's not like a great white or a tiger shark or something. No, no. It looked smaller than that, definitely. But it's like one of those little tiny guys. It's technically a shark, but who cares? Yeah, we all laugh at it. Yeah. You could like punt it. You know what I mean? Yeah. But in 20 years time, yeah. they're all going to be walking around. They're all going to be big. Oh, man. When we're the little guys, the little shorties? Yep. <laughs> That's a terrible combination. <laughs> yeah. That's the worst time to be a little shorty. <laughs> A lot of the deaths from treasure hunting, amateur treasure hunting, are people that think there's treasure in the sky. I don't know where people get this idea. I mean, I get it. You look at the clouds and you're like, what is that, cotton candy? <laughs> there's probably treasure in there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so they like, they rent a helicopter, they build some kind of Leonardo da Vinci contraption. Then they go up, they don't know what they're doing. And then they get eaten by a cloud. Because <laughs> there's stuff in there. That's why I never will search for sky treasure. That's your promise, the solemn promise. That is the Brock Lovett guarantee. <laughs> I will never search for sky treasure. Thank you. Man, it feels good to be affirmed by a group of people. I'm sitting under a big screen with a QR code. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what about fire treasure? Oh, we've talked about this. Did we? <laughs> fire treasure? Like treasure in a, in a big open flame or a fireplace or something. No, people think there's treasure in volcanoes, though. Seen too many movies. Weren't, wasn't Bill Paxton in one of those? I don't know. <laughs> you don't? You think I followed his career after that movie? <laughs> because you were upset at him. I was mad! <laughs> no, you were more mad, though, at... At the family of the woman, weren't you? I mean... Yeah. Because I, I found out the true story from the movie Titanic. Because what happened to you is you had a, this big, long conversation with yeah. her. Yeah. You turned around and went home. Yeah, she said, no, I don't have it. I didn't get to smoke my celebratory cigar. <laughs> you took the... Which, which route did you take home? Do you remember? What? <laughs> Come on, man. Don't do me like this. But I, all I'm saying is uh, you're out there in the middle of the ocean. That's got to be the worst part of treasure hunting. You're out there in the middle of the ocean. It takes so long. Then you get back on land. Then you have to drive home. Yeah. <laughs> but it's kind of a novelty after you're out sea for a while. Do you ever drive your, and you think you're on the ocean? You're All like, the time. <laughs> this I drive my car float. into the sea. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, I did it again. <laughs> Wrong way, Brock. Remember when Steve Carell did that on The Office? No. Hmm. <laughs> Why did he do that? Because the GPS told him to. So he just drove? What? <laughs> That's what a lot of Was the audience Was that like said. the final season? <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't know. He drives into the ocean. <laughs> what dumb things is left for this guy to do? We've been on for a hundred years. <laughs> we did hour-long episodes at one point. Do you remember that? Yes. <laughs> I like hanging out with you. Yeah, I like you, Brock. Yeah. Yeah. You're fun. fun. You're a fun guy. You're a fun guy, too. I like it. Thanks, man. Um, so what's the best? I mean, okay, so I feel like I haven't seen you in a while, but what's the best treasure you found recently? Well, I hope to be able to say I found it tomorrow. Wait, you're here in St. Louis? Yeah. For treasure purposes? For the biggest treasure I've ever heard of. Biggest in size or value? Both. <laughs> because the more treasure there is, the more valuable it becomes. This is huge news. You know, you want to know what's huge? The St. Louis Arch. Sure, Ooh, I mean, it's... Only a few fans. <laughs> I guess it never occurred to me. Some people live in St. Louis and they hate that thing. <laughs> Just despise it. <laughs> Walk out the house like, oh, you motherfucker. 
It must block some people's views. Of what? <laughs> no offense. No offense. No offense. <laughs> but here's the thing. St. Louis Arch, it's really a St. Louis Oval. Because it's a solid thing. It's down under the ground. So it's, it's like a big O or something. Like an oval, like I said. <laughs> they call, is O short for oval? Yeah, it's a nickname. <laughs> <laughs> but you know the problem is, is like the zero on the keyboard is more oval than the O. Yeah. And so they, sometimes you're trying to type in a password, so I'm like, uh, this one's on the line. <laughs> Have you noticed I've started doing more observational <laughs> I comedy? Know, I know. <laughs> I, feel like I, it's I didn't know you were doing comedy at all. I didn't mean to, but <laughs> I feel like the last time I saw you, <laughs> I we were just kind of shooting the shit. It was fun. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I like hanging should out I with you. stand up? I think you should. Do you want to try some? Uh, I, tell, you what, tell you what we do. All right. We're, gonna, we're not going to solicit a topic. We're going to point at someone from everyone. We're going to point at one person. Okay. They're going to give you a topic. Okay. And we're going to hear Brock Lovett do stand up <laughs> about whatever that topic is. Okay. So I've never done stand up before, <laughs> but we're going to start with someone dictating to me what I should talk about. I don't want you in your head. I don't want you like, I know, but do you feel like experience would help me with that setup? No. Okay. <laughs> hey, you're the expert. I am the expert on stand-up comedy. <laughs> All right, I'm going to point at one person. This is exciting. You. Fears. Fears. Oh, man. <laughs> this is right in my wheelhouse. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go off stage. Introduce me. <laughs> okay. All right, coming to the stage, we have a great comedian. You've seen him around town and all the clubs. <laughs> You've seen him. Say I was on Last Call with Carson Daly. <laughs> You've seen Last Call with Carson Daly. And of course, wait, say, the, wait but point out when, it, when Carson Daly still had the audience, just before they shoved him out on the street with a camera. <laughs> You see him on Last Call with Carson Daly when he had the audience, not when he would just send you producers. Just say the second part. Just say when he had the audience. <laughs> you see him People on Last. People will fill in the rest. <laughs> you see him in clubs. You see him all around town. You see him on Last Call with Carson Daly uh, when Carson Daly still had the audience. You see him in the movie Titanic. Please welcome Brock Lovitz. <laughs> Hey, how y'all doing tonight? Hey, great to see everybody. Wow, what a good looking crowd. Hey, you know, um, fear is a funny thing, right? Cause like, sometimes I'm, a, I'm, sometimes I'm in the domosphere and, I, and I'm going, going, going down this. I can't, I can't, I can't do this. I can't do this. I can't do this. Man, it's, okay, was, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. That was you all like, right? Yeah, all right? that was scary. It's okay. You did good. I don't think I did. You did, you did good, right? For his first time? I mean, I don't think I got out a single joke. You got out a premise. I didn't even come up with the premise. Like, But you got it out. Yeah, I guess baby steps, right? Yeah. What are you afraid of? Let's just talk about that. Maybe we could hammer out some of your act right now. Well, I'm not used to public speaking, you know, like oh. most of my time with the, the guys on my crew and we don't talk to each other at all. Really? And, yeah. We had a big fight a while ago. <laughs> <laughs> kind of after that whole Court of La Mer thing. I, I made a lot of promises I could not keep. They were splitting up the money in their heads. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, we, like, got catalogs. Guys were picking out cars. From I mean, catalogs? <laughs> yeah. Car catalogs. <laughs> Where they have every brand of car. Yeah. <laughs> the Sears car catalog. 
<laughs> you like bend the page of the one you wanted, you know? <laughs> Some of the guys get out a marker and like circle one, like, I want the Jaguar. And then, you know. Man, that's too bad. I mean, they were, they were, they're like your only friends, right? Yeah. I have no family. I did. Until that movie came out. Your family died watching that movie? I, I don't. No, I am dead to them. Oh. I made a lot of promises to them, too. No. Oh, yeah. We, I was with <laughs> Christmas time with the ca- car catalog. <laughs> and I have a big family. How big? 18 kids. <laughs> of your own? No. Oh, okay. You're one of 18 kids. It's like kids. my brothers and sisters. Oh, got it, got it, got it, got it. And steps. Oh, got it. How many kids do you have? Uh, I don't have any kids. You don't? Oh, you're and not- I don't know of any. Okay. And you're not married? No, married to the sea and treasure. <laughs> <laughs> you ever think you should just go back out there and try to dig up that Cordo La Mer? I mean, it's like, you know where it is, right? You, no. you have the Oh, com- yeah. The ocean. <laughs> But you know where you have the conversation with her. Yeah, the ocean. <laughs> what, do you understand? Like, that was years ago. Like, the ocean does, you don't just drop something in the ocean, it just stays there. It's not a bathtub. <laughs> I want to say this to everybody <laughs> the ocean is not a bathtub. <laughs> if you drop something in there, all kinds of currents are going to sweep stuff away. Hmm? That thing could be anywhere by now. What if someone else finds it? I'd be so mad. <laughs> if I saw another tre- treasure hunter walking around, wearing <laughs> that thing around their neck, which is what I would do if I was in that situation. For I'd how be long, furious. though? Because you promised to split the money between your family, your coworkers. For how long, what? Would you wear it around your neck? No. If I was in the situation where somebody else was looking for it and I found it, hmm. And they were humiliated in a movie, and I was the one that found it. I'd wear it around my neck saying, I hope I run into that guy. This will be a sick burn on him. Man. You thought that I was saying, if I found it, I would wear it around my neck for no reason? Yes. Okay, well, that's not what I was saying. Good to know. So yeah. tell, me, tell me now, the St. Louis... Tell me now. <laughs> What is that? I don't know. I don't it know sounded either. like something. Yeah, it though. did. Yeah. Sounded a lot like something. We're back on the same page. <laughs> we are. Hey, we like each other now. Okay, so it's a big O. Yeah, it's big oval. The big O. Hey, come on, man. <laughs> There's kids here. <laughs> so is, what does that have to do with you? Is it some sort of... Underneath what you can see of the St. Louis Arch right. is a vast underground ocean. The under part of the arch is hollow and it is packed with diamonds, rubies, doubloons, some crowns and tiaras, ropes and ropes of pearls, classic treasure. How did you find out about this? I found a map in a weird place. How weird? It was in somebody's backyard. <laughs> wow. They had a treasure map that I found in a ruined church in Nepal. <laughs> led to this guy's house. <laughs> was it always at this guy's house or did he build a house on something that used I to be I don't know. There? He, didn't, he didn't leave that on the map. He was <laughs> just like, here's the map to my treasure. Was it, are, are these treasure maps usually just like a big X and then a bunch All, of dotted lines? Yes, and stuff? exactly. Yeah. The thing is, the hardest part about treasure hunting is, where do the dotted lines begin? Once you know where the dotted lines begin, you're home free. (laughs) But you can't just walk out your front door and, like, follow the dotted lines. (laughs) So I go to this guy's house in Glendale, California. Glendale? Yeah. In his front yard. He was home, too. And I dug it up. What, did, he, did he say anything? Yeah, he, he came to a store and said, can I help you? And I showed him the map and he went, oh. <laughs> so he sat there. He's like drinking an Arnold Palmer watching me dig up his front yard. 
I was like, he's being a good sport about it. I took a break. He made an Arnold Palmer for me. That was nice. Oh, nice. Yeah. Wow. It was hot. It was hot. Mm. And then I found in this metal box, I found the map. In a metal box. Wow. Yeah. Wow. To the under oval. And you knew what it was right away? There was no mistaking it, man. <laughs> when I saw it on this map, I was like, are you kidding me? The St. Louis Arch is really a big oval? <laughs> And the underside of the oval is packed with all kinds of classic treasure. <laughs> and it is an underground ocean. <laughs> I mean, this is my lucky day. You must have been so happy when you saw there was an underground ocean. I was pumped. Because first I couldn't tell it was an ocean. Right. And I was like, no, oh, too bad. <laughs> That's good luck for a ground hunter, but not me. And then I saw like... I saw they were, I thought they were just like some, I don't know what they were supposed to be. I thought they were like rocks or something, but they were poorly drawn fish. <laughs> wow. Yeah. And so you knew there's some sort of underground ocean that I qualifies. I knew there was some sort of underground ocean and that qualifies. As wet. As wet treasure. treasure. Yes. Now, if it's all dry inside the under oval, that's a bit of a conundrum for me. Well, is not wet treasure usually in some sort of treasure chest, much as you would see in an aquarium? Yeah, but if you recall, the lid is always like popping up <laughs> so you can see the treasure in there. So that treasure is soaked. That's the way you like it. That's the way I like it. <laughs> you don't, and let's clarify. Yeah. You don't care for just damp treasure. No, I like my treasure to be ringing wet. <laughs> just sopping. Yes, inconveniently wet. You want to have to wring it out in the domosphere. Yeah, like when I said ringing wet? Oh, I thought you meant R-I-N-G. No, that's not an expression. Hey, man, <laughs> where are you from? <laughs> I thought you were American. Uh, yeah, I am, obviously. <laughs> People yelled something, but I didn't catch it. Yeah, I didn't catch it either. Good. This, well, this is, so what's your plan? Do you have, are the guys with you or? Uh, they're with me silently. We're not speaking <laughs> to each other. <laughs> but they're all in it. They're pot committed at this point. Like, Oh, yeah. I mean, I did not make the mistake of making any promises this time. But you did tell them about what? They're going to be I, digging. It. I left the map on the table on the boat and I walked out of the room and I just went, <clears throat> and I like little head, head bob at the map. <laughs> then I heard them talking to each other. Like, hey, maybe we should, maybe we, this one, I mean, we'll give them no, another. Like, I heard them. Oh. They, they were like, oh, wow, this is a map to the <laughs> St. Louis under treasure. Did you make them think it was their idea? Like, hey, what if we got this treasure? No. <laughs> what? <laughs> Why would I trick them? Well, you're already involved in this ruse of like, <clears throat> and it's because we're not speaking to each other. Oh, man. What is going on with you? <laughs> hmm. I feel like you're not really listening to me. And never have. <laughs> <laughs> what? You have turned on me so quickly. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're a good guy, man. I'm sorry. You're still upset about your stand-up performance. You should yeah, be good. Yeah. <laughs> do, do you want another suggestion? <laughs> fear, fears a little. Yeah, maybe fear triggers. Something. Maybe like a household item, uh, or a product, or something like a that. Product. That's interesting. You know, like a like a something you'd get at a, at a grocery store. Okay. Doritos or peanut butter. Uh, I heard Doritos or peanut butter or both. Let me try Doritos. Okay, try Doritos. You know what to do. <laughs> <laughs> Coming to the stage right now. You've seen him all around town, clubs. He was on last call with Carson Daly when he had the hey, audience. Don't, don't mention Titanic this time. <laughs> And he was not in the movie Titanic. No, don't mean, that's not, come on, man. My intro sets up how the crowd will perceive me. If Club you say not in the movie Titanic, it's like I auditioned for it and I couldn't get the part. 
clubs and colleges all over town. Last call of Carnes Daily. Who's when uh, Come audience? Come on. You've seen him in clubs and colleges and all over town. <laughs> Last call with Carson Daly when he had the audience there. <laughs> Please welcome to the stage, Brock Levin! Hey, how y'all doing tonight? Hey, wow. What a great looking crowd. A lot of people on dates, great. Hey, I was, in the, I was in the grocery store the other day. I was like getting my staples, you know what I mean? I was getting like, you know, bread, milk, loaf of bread, stick of butter. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to treat myself to a sn snack. <laughs> Go in the snack aisle. Have you seen how many Doritos there are these days? Don't, don't get them to applaud the setups. They're, they're affirming your premise. Yeah, I, I mean, that's f that they don't need to affirm. Okay, I'm gonna, Man, you're being picky right now for a guy who's never I'm, fucking I'm done it before. I'm nervous. <laughs> Nevertheless, I persisted. <laughs> was that what that was about? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nervous about yeah. speaking in public? <laughs> It was like Elizabeth Warren was doing stand up and <laughs> Mitch Connell's giving her the light. She ran the light. <laughs> All right. If you notice how many Doritos there are now, like when I was a kid, when I was a kid, there was one flavor orange. <laughs> now it's like, what is this, Benetton or whatever? Do people know what that is still? I think, I mean, it's like what? It's a shoe, shoes? What is it? Oh. I'm like, well, hey, I didn't know I was attending a meeting of the United Nations in the snack aisle. <laughs> <laughs> are people booing me? People are offended by it. Oh, no. Man. Wow, this did not go the way I thought it was. People. I thought I was on a roll there for yeah. a second. Wait, 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 go back, go back. I want to, I want to. You want to what? I want to call you over to the couch. <laughs> <laughs> so, do, don't I have to finish first? <laughs> okay. Sorry, Ross Perot. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> It's like, uh, <laughs> hey, uh, am I okay to buy some Fritos or do you need to bring my passport? Brock Lovett, amazing, great, 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 great. Oh, very, uh, oh, wait, no, that's the, that's the white power side. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. I thought you were trying to do the Boy Scouts. <laughs> I was trying to do something. Came out white power. <laughs> that happens sometimes. Sure. <laughs> this is America. <laughs> Very good. Very do you good. think that's a lot of America's fault? Problem is that we tried to do something. It came out white power. <laughs> the story of America. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Oops, all whites. <laughs> Brock Lovett, everyone. Great job. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It was really good. Hey, thanks, man. I think you have a future. Hey, I'm sorry about, like, getting so testy before. That's I was okay. just, like, freaking out, you know? Yeah, we're both uh, hallucinating right now. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> you look like a big frog. <laughs> Ribbit. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> yeah. That was trippy. Yeah. You have a sombrero on. <laughs> and high heels. <laughs> Do I look sexy? Well, no, because you're also wearing like a full track suit, mm -hmm. like a velour track suit. <laughs> Everything's at odds with each other. <laughs> I'm having dark thoughts. <laughs> hey, man, you're okay. You're okay. Come back to me. Okay, okay. Thanks. All right. Thanks, man. Come Thanks. back. Thanks. All right. Thanks. All right. All right.
You excited for our next guest? Sure I am. This isn't going to trip you out. I don't even know who it's going to be. Oh, great. Let me ask you, are you a sports fan? Love sports. What's your favorite sport? Golf. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that even counts. Huge sports fan. I love golf. <laughs> One of the tiniest balls, though. We agree on that. Boy, that's true. <laughs> By the way, me and some friends, Yeah, I'll cut you in on this. Speaking of balls, going in on our business, Reddit for balls. What? Yeah. I'm intrigued. Not going to lie. <laughs> I'll tell you that. All right. <laughs> All right, let's get to him. He is a, uh, he, he started out as a, uh, one of the guys who dribbles that uh, or- most orange ball. <laughs> Basketball, my right. dear boy. Is a ping pong ball smaller than a golf ball? No. No, right? <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> he then became a basketball announcer. You know him, you love him. Please welcome Bill Walton. Oh, wow. Bill Walton. You need a mic, Bill. Go get it. No, no, not mine. (laughs) He just ran over here without a microphone. (laughs) No, 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 that's a mic stand. That's a mic stand. You need a mic. Stand. No, no, not you stand. No, you stand. No, you, you should stand and go swap that with an actual microphone. No, you. I mean, that's not the worst thing that could happen. No! Okay. You're gonna Freddie Mercury it? (laughs) Scott Ackerman! Bill Walton! Bill Walton! Brock Lesnar! What? Brock Lesnar! No, not Brock Lesnar. Here, Bill, Brock. let me make it like, remember when you used to do those press conferences? <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, I did not have sexual relations with that woman. That wasn't you, I don't think. <laughs> that was a different Bill. Uh, Slick Bill. Willie, we called him. Uh, what the, why, one of the slickest Willies. Oh, and Brock is gone. <laughs> the slickest Willies from free... <laughs> To, of course, Nelson, after a wet bath. Or Slick Willie, as his family band would call him, after he cleaned up after one of their shows, high as a kite. (laughs) Roll him up and smoke him when he dies, he would say. Mm. Yes. You look a little like Willie Nelson right now. You have a headband. The rest? Yes. (laughs) Big beard, long hair. (laughs) Apple bottom jeans. (laughs) Boots Boots with the fur. fur. (laughs) Face down, ass up. That's the way you like to fuck. (laughs) It's true, Scott Ackerman. It is the best way to receive and give pleasure. (laughs) Face in the pillow so you can imagine whomstever you want. (laughs) (laughs) Ass straight up in the air for easy access to all of your pleasure zones, be it perineum, one of the great EMs. From Muse to Fleming. Ian Fleming. And of course, the scrotum, the prostate. The head of the penis, if pulled between, betwixt the legs, Scott Ackerman. Or the underside, which had you been born with female genitalia would have been the clitoris. But as a male, it has the same sensitivity on your penis. But the, the overside, nothing. No feeling there, no. <laughs> this is how I mimed the overside. Yeah, it worked. <laughs> like Dr. Dre in 1982. 
What did he do then? He dropped in on house parties, underage, couldn't even be there, but wanted to DJ so badly, would go in and spin records and introduce soul and rap music to the crowds. Bill, are you the one who drugged our sandwiches? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's got to be, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm realizing now. A common question, but is it drugging your sandwich? <laughs> Is it drugging your sandwich if I'm ap- or adding an ingredient, an ingredient that will open your mind, Scott? <laughs> yes, Ackerman? yes, it, it is. is. Would, would it be drugging your sandwich if I added mayonnaise, which opened your mind up to uh, a, a creamy yolky flavor? <laughs> You're saying expanded my mind flavor profile-wise? <laughs> well, where does the line stop and start? You're saying psilocybin helps... At drugs! Th- At drugs, yeah. But to some, mayonnaise is a drug, I Paul F. Who? So. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Get out. Do laps. Do laps. <laughs> you gotta do some drills. Okay. Sorry, you know the punishment. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bring it in. Bring it in. <laughs> wow. Wow. Suicides. <laughs> yes. You like logic? Logic? The rapper. <laughs> He hasn't done much since that one song. Uh, you know, I don't know logic. I, w- one of the huge misses in my awareness of pop culture. Scott yeah, you're more of a Grateful Dead guy, is that right? Uh, how can you tell? <laughs> Your shirt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you've caught me wearing one of my Grateful Dead shirts. <laughs> <laughs> yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. You've seen the Grateful Dead. Everyone knows who Bill Walton is, obviously. You, you call college games. Yes. Call college games for Pac-12, the Conference of Champions, soon to become Pac-10 after an horrific ruling. Why? What happened? The University of California, Los Angeles, the great school to whom I went, is moving to a new conference on the other coast of the country. What? Uh, John Lovitz. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, Brock Lovett. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Oh, I see what happened before. You, you mistook him for the famous comedian, Paul F. Tompkins. Who? <laughs> oh! Oh, he, if he's repeating it, he doesn't have to do suicides. Just if I do it. It's like if you tell the teacher, that kid said fuck. Right. You can't get in trouble. Exactly. I used to do that all the time. Just so I could say it. That kid called you a fuck. (laughs) (laughs) It's called the Tarantino theorem. See, someone else did it. And then you can write the worst things anyone could ever say. (laughs) But little do they know, it's one of the weirdest looking white guys writing those words. (laughs) Sweating it up in his mansion of marijuana. You think he sweats while he writes? (laughs) Well, it would be the one thing where he didn't if it wasn't the case. I saw saw him in a bathrobe at a spa once. Oh, wow. How how, how was that experience, Scott Ackerman? Did you tell him what a fan you were? No, it was just fucking weird. (laughs) That's one place you don't expect to see Quentin Tarantino half naked wearing a bathrobe. Yeah, in a place where feet are openly visible. (laughs) Now that you say. Was this one of the uh, 24-hour spas you could go to in Los Angeles, like We Spa, or more of a uh, Lane Bryant, Wayne Gibbons, Wayne Knight? Wait, Bill, something going on with your references. Usually you come out here, you're, you're the reference guy from this to that. Sure. And you haven't hit one. Oh! Is this what you were like? Did you ever have nights, you know, uh, when you were playing ball where you had the yips like this? Great question, Scott Ackerman. Mm -hmm. Fantastic question. And the mind goes to the past. It's as if I'm having a flashback to some of the yips I had over time. Mm -hmm. Why, I tried to slam dunk the ball from the wrong free throw line across the court, didn't make it nigh on three feet, landed on Wilt Chamberlain's ankle, and he called me an idiot. (laughs) 
<laughs> was he was he on an opposite team? <laughs> he was doing the halftime show. <laughs> <laughs> what did Wilt Chamberlain do for the halftime show? Let's see. Uh... I know he's famous for basketball <laughs> and one other thing. Well, <laughs> <laughs> Being in the Conan sequel? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he told Schwarzenegger on set stories for 15 minutes. <laughs> the way him and Arnie would laugh it up on set, little pranks they'd play on each other. Oh, man. He's a prankster, Arnie. Wilt Chamberlain and Arnold Schwarzenegger were the original George Clooney uh, and um, uh, Richard Anyone Kind. Else? Oh, yes, Richard Kind. They were roommates back in college. Yes, which surprises everyone because George Clooney is incredibly uh, attractive and famous and Richard Kind is Jewish. (laughs) (laughs) The original odd couple. Yes. (laughs) Handsome guy and a Jew. (laughs) Polar opposites. So, uh, uh, yeah, I mean, what's going on with you right now? Do, do you oh. need to shake it out? Do you need to do what they did in that movie, Tin Cup, where you take all your change out of your pockets? And... Tin Cup. <laughs> <laughs> was that a thinner? No, it was, a, oh. it was, was that a, a sliver? It was a legit reference to something else. Yeah. Oh. Tin Cup. <laughs> it's a special thing. Something special. Okay. Yeah. Maybe you'll tell me backstage, huh? Sure. Yeah, sure we will, Bill. Hell yeah. <laughs> me and my pals. <laughs> Eating BBQ and sharing the inside stories. <laughs> swapping jokes. Speaking of swapping, stand up. Take whatever's out of your pockets. Swap <laughs> it with the other pocket. Oh, okay. Yeah. Just whatever's in your pockets. All take right. It out. All right. Just what? take it out. Hacky sack. Hacky sack. <laughs> What, what are you going to do with that hacky sack? Why are you bringing that out on I stage? I think you know the answer to that, baby. <laughs> How do you say baby? you got to keep a stack. A stack of sacks. Yeah, a stack of one. <laughs> yes, in your packets. Yes. That's how we always remember to do that. Yes, yes. With that rhyme. Austin Powers says spectacles, tacticles, ah, wallet, and watch. <laughs> Bill Walton says you got to keep a stack of sacks in your packets. Yes. Okay, do you have anything in the other... Yes, you are referring, of course, to my Vivo Active Fit watch. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now swap them. Okay. Is one of them causing feedback on your ear? No, no, I'm just... I'm trying to get you out of your head here. Oh, oh, Trying to get a rebalance yourself. Oh. This is a trick. This All is right. a trick. That's what's happening. Well, if I let you know it's a trick... Do you need also... a hand or... Yeah, what's... Good? Let me hold the mic for you. Here. <laughs> I smoked, but I didn't inhale. (laughs) Thank you. Okay, now shake. No, don't sit down. Okay. Now shake your body. All right. Turn your headband uh, 180 degrees. No, no, your headband. You're you're wearing it on your head. This thing. Uh, yeah, uh, turn it around. Yeah, you're my not, hair holder. You're not an hair owl. holder. Yes. <laughs> I thought it was a weird thing, too. <laughs> I was just following orders. Okay. Okay. 180 no. times. One. No, degrees. <laughs> degree, degrees, <laughs> Bill. Degrees, Bill. You've heard, you know what degrees are. You've heard of 98 degrees? <laughs> oh, baby. <laughs> heard of. Heard. Toured with. <laughs> toured with? Bongo or twerked for? With? T- twerked with. What? Uh, oh, I twerked with 98 degrees. What, where? Where would you have done that? Uh, let's see. <laughs> <laughs> this would have been 98. <laughs> That's a perfect year to <laughs> do this with them. I knew, I, when I woke up January 1st, 1998, I said, Bill, this is it. You absolutely missed your opportunity of touring with... Oh, I was hoping a band name with a year would come up <laughs> in my a, brain as I started the story. It certainly didn't. But, uh, anyway. Uh, 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 the 1970-something, but they weren't around at the time. The 1977, yeah. Yes. Uh, one of the great... One of the great what? S- 19s. Okay. From, from Hey. Yeah. 
to Paul Hardcastle. <laughs> Paul Hardcastle. Who? <laughs> Paul Hardcastle had a hit song called 19. The, the, the 19. The Purple Heart was 19. Sing, sing it all the way through. Talk about it. I, this is it, man. <laughs> it's just a Saigon. I think I didn't get the full spin in, so I couldn't get another year. Okay, here we go. Here, I, want you to go uh, I want you to go counterclockwise around your stool. All right? Run around your stool counterclockwise just make, until make, I tell you. Make, no, make, this stool. No, you. Make stool here? No. no. <laughs> No, you run. Hey, Bill, stool. hold on. Bill, sort, sort out the headband first, I think. <laughs> I don't want anything to happen to you. What, what's <laughs> good? Oh, no, it's like the ring. Ringu. Ringu. <laughs> no, Bill Walton's Ringu and me. Fears. 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 No. 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 <laughs> I was trying to Jew on him. <laughs> what? Oh, the you grudge. Were trying to Jew me? No, the grudge. <laughs> That's what oh. I heard too. <laughs> Jew on, it's called. Oh, oh. Hey, Bill, this now, is now. How not did good. the girl not get stuck in the TV? Is the question. <laughs> See a little help here? She says, <laughs> "You need it." <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Just go three times counterclockwise around the. Oh, you're still gonna make him do it? Yes. He's got to get out of his head. One. One. A two. <laughs> a three. Thank and now you. you're good. Sit back down. There you go. All right. How do you feel? Good. Uh, that was one of the great resets, Scott Ackerman. Yeah. From me getting frustrated with Madden 96. <laughs> 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 to season two of that show with Will Arnett on NBC. Yes, he's back. <laughs> wow. Still a little rusty. I wish I could have thought of the name of the don't show. Don't quite know what show you're talking about, but I know you're, you know. They brought it back like three different ways. Oh, they, yeah. Oh, the one with Christina Applegate? Yes. Right. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. It had a live studio audience? The, the, at some point. At some point, They yeah. decided to do that, yes. Yeah, fun. They tried everything. Yeah. Didn't work, though, did they it? They wanted it to work, and that's, all, that's what I appreciate from the big peacock. <laughs> the important thing is, one show got three chances. <laughs> <laughs> one show, three chances. I was trying Guantanamera and it came out wrong. Here, maybe this is better. One, one show gets three chances, chances and one show <laughs> gets three more. Oh, man, we put him back somewhere. <laughs> oh, man. We put him back to a, a certain time in his past. <laughs> <laughs> Summer of love, right, Bill? Oh, no, it reminded me of the most recent Matrix trailer. Oh, great. <laughs> <laughs> When that came on, we grooved, baby. Oh, we grooved. Man. What's Neo going to think of next? Why is Neil Patrick Harris there? <laughs> Good question. Turns out he, and bleep for spoilers. <laughs> okay, here we go. Is the Matrix. Oops. Fuck. <laughs> Maybe he was when he was Doogie Howser and he was on that computer at the end. Holy of the shit. Oh, <laughs> That's why he was such a good doctor, Scott Doctor. <laughs> Wait, because in Matrix Doctor, <laughs> he plays a doctor in Matrix Resurrections too, right? Yes, but a doctor of the mind. It could be a, Doogie Howser might have switched practices or, or disciplines or whatever you call it. Got yeah. fed up with the bureaucracy of the, <laughs> the, the private health system. Yeah, wanted to help people in a more direct way. Well, and also be the Matrix. Yes, of course. The bureaucracy of the private health system. <laughs> <laughs> Bill, great to have you here. Scott. I got to ask, St. Louis, you're not known for St. Louis, are you? Or? There's no basketball team in mighty St. Louis. Why is that? Um, <laughs> uh, small market, I, I suppose, but but some great sports teams. Small market, big heart. I mean, we passed a uh, uh, some sort of sta a baseball stadium. You have the, uh, what do you call them? The St. Louis Cardinals. Yes. The Cards. Oh, I remember Mark McGuire. Remember him? Those big arms? Big arms. Foul ball! <laughs> 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 
But then eventually, <laughs> foul number two. <laughs> but then, <laughs> you're out of here. <laughs> Then Smash Cut 2, he hits a whole bunch of them, right? Yes. Yeah, out of the park. Smash Cut, Smash Ball. Mr. Out of the Park, they called him. Yes. Yes, Mr. Out of the Park, Mark. (laughs) And then he uh, went on to MTV Video Music Awards, and uh, Eminem called him that, and he said, I don't go by that anymore. (laughs) (laughs) Is that true? (laughs) (laughs) Maybe an amalgamation of memories for Marky Mark and the Funky Bunch. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. That makes more sense. <laughs> it happened on the TRL show with Carson Daly when right. they were in the studio in front of the audience that was in Times Square, but oh, not sure. with them in the studio unless Dashboard Confessional was playing live with them. Right. And then they were vindicated to be up there, weren't they? Yeah. Yes. You see that Marky Mark reality show? <laughs> <laughs> Wahlburgers? <laughs> no, the other one. <laughs> <laughs> Being weird? I think it was on HBO Max where it just oh, followed yes. him around during the pandemic with all of his failed businesses. <laughs> when are we going to get the Scott Ackerman passion project that you fund the documentary about your own life to be out there and we see that you're up at 2 a.m., working out at 3, praying from 4 to 7? <laughs> That was, yeah, I mean, that was basically it. I loved when he would walk through Wahlburgers. He'd never been to the Wahlburgers actual store before. And he walked backstage and there was a TV in the break room. And he's like, well, we have a TV in the break room? What are these guys doing? And he just, he said that's why it was losing so much money. <laughs> the, the, the lime green everywhere is perfect. Don't change that. Right. Being thought, associated with an anti-vaxxer is okay, but... I thought it was nice when he guessed it on that Catholic app to do the rosary with people. (laughs) (laughs) Like his own cameo, but rosaries? Well, it's it's an app. I forget what it's called, but Catholic people download it and they it helps them pray. (laughs) And then he was doing like a special guest appearance. He was like, "Hey, come pray the rosary with me." (laughs) So I guess if you got that app, you could just like set it up on your table and get your rosary, and it's like you. Mark Wahlberg are doing the rosary together. And you know the big guy's listening a little closer if you're doing it with Marky Mark. Sure. He doesn't go by that anymore. The big guy or Marky Mark? <laughs> Both. <laughs> What's Scott right. go by now? The big guy spit on Puck for calling him that on the reunion show. <laughs> so, Bill, you, what are you doing in St. Louis? I mean, this is so weird to see you here. I don't think I've... Have you ever been spotted uh, here before? I don't know. Have you ever been here before? I've never been to... Jolly old St. Louis before. (laughs) You see, I believe it's bad luck to go under ladders. Most believe that. (laughs) Yes, we can agree on this. Can we at least agree on one thing? (laughs) Yes, of course we can. I wish Joe Biden would say that on TV. (laughs) Yes. (laughs) Folks, we all agree. We're scared of going under ladders. (laughs) On both sides. Here's the deal. (laughs) I wish his tweets, he would just cut out the here's the deals. You know, just tweet what you want to tweet. I don't. I don't need the, the setup. Yeah, he's only got so many characters anyway. Yeah, he's wasting yeah. some sentence yeah. there. Other than that, no notes. <laughs> <laughs> what, 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 what? What are you doing here? What? 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 Um. Um. Ladders. Going under them. Uh, is this a free association? That sh- shoots. <laughs> no, you no, brought it you up. You said that. <laughs> you were all afraid of going under ladders. Well, I, that, that I agree with Scott Ackerman. <laughs> <laughs> you see, is it so hard to find common ground between two such opposing figures in the, in the world today? As a child of the 90s... <laughs> a child in your 90s? <laughs> yes. 
a Benjamin Button, if you will. <laughs> As a child in my 90s, I want to look like I'm drinking alcohol with my friends. I gotta ask, okay, back to Benjamin Button. <laughs> okay, so if you're a Benjamin Button. Yes. The good thing is you know how many years you're alive. Oh, wow. Right? Like, you, you're born, you take a look at yourself, you're like, fuck, I'm 93 years old. And you know you got 93 to go. Right. Can you be hit by a car? <laughs> like, right. you're 55, you're hit by a car and you die. Right? I mean, there's nothing in the rule book that says <laughs> a Benjamin Button can't get hit by a car. But that's a, that's a waste of a Benjamin Button. I agree. Yes. <laughs> But there's always at least two more in the pocket, so you just... <laughs> True. <laughs> okay, so what were you saying about... Oh, you know, we got out of on a tangent, but I was just thinking about how I was a child in my 90s. I got the wife hounding me. Uh, the world moves so fast. Sometimes I just need some sort of... Sweet drink in a bottle. I don't know, a Boku. Uh... Wait, are we sponsored by Boku? <laughs> wow, wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I got Boku to sponsor this. You did? Yes. Great. Scott, you, you do have to go by Scott ba Bokurman. <laughs> Scott Bokurman? Scott Bokurman, how oh. I pronounced it was correct. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fine with that. Me too. Yeah. All Me right. Too. That's a deal. <laughs> <laughs> that's a three. That's a triumvirate. Uh, but yes, I, I, I have arrived in St. Louis. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> was that the end of your story or the beginning? I can't quite tell. It was a Benjamin Button story. It has now died in its, in its nascency. <laughs> That's the thing me and my boys say to each other when someone does a bad story. Hey, that was a Benjamin Button, and everyone laughs. <laughs> That's fun. That's, That's a lot fun. of fun. Well, yeah, you know, me and my boys are hanging out. Yeah. That's what we do. <laughs> your jealous. boys, you have a, your, your son. <sighs> no, my crew. Oh, your crew? You have a crew? Oh, yeah. Every basketball player has a crew. Hmm. You have to because you don't know who to trust because you're so famous. Everybody wants you. Hmm. So you keep around your crew, which is, of course, my son. <laughs> Let me guess, your parents? Yes, oh, they're, <laughs> yes. They keep me very grounded. Mm -hmm. How old are your parents now? 123. <laughs> God bless them. Yes, <laughs> and, and the, the... Careful. <laughs> Don't say the big guy. Well, if you're going to say what you don't want to be called, you have to tell me what you do want to be called. Are we doing G slash D in the wording? Because that's how I write it over text messages. But Yeah, what do we call this you guy? You do a slash, not a dash? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> backslash. G backslash D. <laughs> underscore, underscore. Yeah, it's the God URL. Oh, and I just said it. So oh. I don't <laughs> Nope. Why does he? It's never been explained to me. Why does he not like it? The, the saying saying the actual full um i believe from soup to nuts god <laughs> that was his one-man show <laughs> yeah <laughs> first on the first day i created soup <laughs> on day six nuts <laughs> oh man i gotta talk to him about reddit for balls <laughs> speaking god? of which I gotta talk to God. I gotta get his permission. We all gotta talk to him. Yeah, true. You should get on that rosary app. <laughs> <laughs> Some people just have a conversation. It's less of a prayer. It's more yeah. like a. I was just like to chat with him. That's nice. Yeah. 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 Was that it, Bill? Oh, in what sense? <laughs> that all you came out here to talk about? Well, I did want to hack with the boys. <laughs> I don't know that I can necessarily hack. Oh, uh, come on. I, I, this is a beautiful hacky sack. <laughs> I'll try it. Would you hack with me? I mean, I'll... Yeah. I, this is filled with... Let's see what I can do. I, 
I was swimming in the ocean and I found this really? gorgeous rock. Uh, this hold on, hold on, hold on. Rock. You found that in the ocean? Well, no, I found a gorgeous rock in the ocean. Oh, okay. Beautiful, glimmering, gem-like. So I was like, well. What, what color was it? Uh, I think if my memory serves me right, like purplish, but I don't remember exactly. Oh boy, oh boy. It's Where something. were you at the time? The ocean. I know, but like specifically? Um, Pacific? Wait, did you say Pacifically? Forget it. Forget it. What? No, nothing. Forget it. It might have been the Atlantic. I don't want to hear anymore. Well, anywho. <laughs> Tell me about the rock. What it happened? It spoke to me in an almost religious way. It was so beautiful. Uh -huh. I thought to myself, this rock is worth something. So I took it to my blacksmith. And I had her. <laughs> Surprising. It's an example of your sexism. Yeah. smash up the rock into tiny little beads and put them inside this woven hacky to create a hacky sack. Why? <laughs> well, why not? Because... What do you do when you find a beautiful gem? You turn it into something that you'll carry around with you every day of your goddamn life. Yeah, money. <laughs> you don't carry money every day. You give it to people. Yeah, but I still keep some. <laughs> what if they say it costs the amount you have? I'll pay with a credit card? <laughs> then what's the money for? Sometimes I like gum. <laughs> <laughs> That's what the money is for! Hey, don't Don Draper me. <laughs> what of the great St. Louis. Yes. Yes. St. Louis residents. I am speaking of Don Draper, of course. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> yes. Hey, man, are we going to hack or what? <laughs> Don't kick that close to my dick, Scott Ackerman. <laughs> How close do you want me to kick next to your dick? Nowhere near it. It's the number one rule of hack. Sorry. <laughs> I, got, I need, a, that makes I need sense. a lot of space for this. All right. What are we doing? No, thank you. Oh, I know. yeah, that's right, man. I know. I'm forced, <laughs> you were going to do it. I'm forced into this bit. I'm, I'm going to try. Now, was that a, a kind person saying, watch your ankle, or a photographer saying, watch your angles? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Scott Ackerman, the number one rule of hacking, never yeah. hack when injured. Okay, I'm going to sit it out then. What if, if you sat right. on the stool and then you used your good leg? Yeah, I can do that. Can you get it, get it near me? That is a good leg. Look at that. <laughs> Check this bad boy out. Oh, whoa. <laughs> was that your eyes, the sound of your eyes? That was my eyes popping out of my throat. <laughs> your throat? <laughs> That's not the cartoon. <laughs> That's gruesome. <laughs> That's how Tim Burton gets horny. Yeah. <laughs> I always wondered. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, let's hack. All right, here we go. All right. One, two, skidoo. Can't reach. <laughs> Bill. Oh, no, no, I hack. Sack oh. overboard. <laughs> the Corps de la Mer. Wait, it went under the stage? <laughs> A new treasure oh, to be shit. hunted. It's on the ground. I can't don't do it. Don't get it. Don't get it. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, Brock. Oh. It's too bad it didn't land in a puddle. <laughs> All right. Maybe if we'd made this damn audience a little hornier. <laughs> hey. Okay. All I right. tried my hardest. <laughs> <laughs> you were trying very hard. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Bill Walton, everyone. Bill. Where are you going? Oh, you get to sit here. Oh, is that the rules? We do a talk show style. Great. Those are the rules. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, this is very exciting. You guys, uh, uh, fans of music? Not as, 
Not as many people fans of music as you would expect. I would think 100% of people would be like, yep. More people hated the St. Louis Arch. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's the lead singer of one of your favorite bands. You know them, you love them. Cameo, please welcome Larry Blackman. Yo, pretty ladies of St. Louis. What's up, Scott? Hey, Larry. Great to see you. Great to see you, too. Ow. Did you say how? Ow. Ow. How? How? How are you? Oh, thank you. <laughs> Wait a minute. Every time you sang what I heard to be ow during cameo songs, you were singing how? No. <laughs> I was singing, ow. Wait, I've always wondered. That was me trying to figure out how you're doing. <laughs> I heard you got a bum ankle. Yeah, you know, it happens. No, it don't. <laughs> Bill, Walton, Larry! We go way back. Yes, sir, we do, my good man. What so, are the great Someone wanted lyrics. me to tell you that you won a national championship here in St. Louis in 1973. <laughs> that brother right there on the sound bowl. That's awesome. <laughs> Look, that was... That was like six years after the summer of love. No, this is one, two, three, four years. Yes. You were still... Still in love. Yeah. How are you supposed to remember some stuff like that, you know? Yes, absolutely. I, 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 it's what the podcast Serial told us so well. <laughs> Serial? <laughs> Never heard of that one. Yes, about a non killing Heyman Lee, and they taught us at the beginning of that podcast. Can you really remember where you were a couple weeks ago? And if you can't, how can we expect this guy that obviously killed this woman to remember it? <laughs> Hello, Larry. Hello, Brock. What a shock. Look at the clock. Not much time left. <laughs> Scott, you just got out of here. I gotta go. No, <laughs> Larry. Hey, Larry Blackman, everyone. No, 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 no. You, you just stick around, please. I will stick around. Now, for, for people who don't uh, know your work, you don't have a lot of current work. <laughs> no. <laughs> just this podcast. Thank you for reinvigorating my career, Scott. Of course. It, well, it's you being on this show has made me dig up several cameo songs mm, uh, and listen strange <laughs> and I like it um, but your, your biggest hit of course which one well of course your, your word up word up everybody say when you're in St. Louis you got to go down archway archway <laughs> That's a street downtown. A lot of these people don't like the arch. They're not smiling, they have a frown. Ow. It's as easy as that when you're Larry Blackman. Wow. Hey, Larry, um, you were in Cameo. Are you on Cameo? I'm on Cameo. $150 a video. Please pay me in cash. <laughs> Mail it to my house. I'll give you the address. What's the turnaround on the cameos? <laughs> Seven to ten business days. Once I receive the cash and count it and take it to the 7-Eleven to get a money order, I will then return your film. <laughs> Oh, 
Where, what are you getting money orders for? <laughs> <laughs> to pay my rent. Oh. They don't take cash. They don't take cash. They don't take card. They eat too much pig. They're filled with lard. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the killing blow. <laughs> Larry, you're, su- you're such a great vocalist. You have such a unique style, mm. don't you? I mean, no oh. one sounds like Larry. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Keep talking. I love compliments. <laughs> How did you come up? How, do you all? I mean, obviously, you talk like this in real life. So, it, did, did you just step right from the the street onto into a recording booth and just? I don't know what I'm asking. <laughs> it's funny. Oh you my god! Ask. Oh my god! He admitted. <laughs> <laughs> Where's that hacky sack? <laughs> Unfortunately, it's under the stage. <laughs> You gonna go down and try to get it? I see it. You see it? Can't get to it. Yeah. Do you think that'll be here for a while? Well, I wonder what their cleaning process is. What if in two weeks Hanson finds the hacky sack? <laughs> you know I wrote their, fa- their most famous song. Really? Mbop? Yeah. Mbop. <laughs> Do it, dop, bop, ow. <laughs> They changed some of the lyrics. a little bit, yeah. (laughs) No, they just changed the pronunciation, really. The the wording-wise, that's still in there. Sing it. (laughs) (laughs) This one right there. (laughs) Oh. (laughs) I wish I should start saying that more after guests say things. Oh. 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 (laughs) Well. Well, then, <laughs> is that how it went? <laughs> Brock, are you on Cameo? Uh, no. I was rejected. I thought it would be a great way to find out if somebody had the Cordula de la Mer, but they said I couldn't be on there for treasure purposes, <laughs> only to wish people happy birthday or happy graduation. I used to love you on Carson Daly. <laughs> Wait, did my wish come true? <laughs> I watched Carson Daly after Showtime at the Apollo, <laughs> which I'm assuming nobody in this audience ever watched. <laughs> that was One great. woman raised her hand. Where? Yeah. <laughs> I don't see it. Let's go. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Scott? Yes. <laughs> What's up? You're not talking to me? <laughs> Come on, Scott. Talk to the guy. <laughs> talk to me, Scott. Larry. Talk to me. I'm sorry, Larry. Tell was... me your sign. I was getting my sign? Yeah. I switched in signs like a Gemini. <laughs> I wrote that song, too. <laughs> Is that, I'm a cancer, actually. Oh. <laughs> Someone felt sorry for me. I don't, I don't have cancer. Is that what you thought I said? <laughs> I have cancer, actually. <laughs> Aww. I have Capricorn. <laughs> on the cob? <laughs> Capricorn on the cob. <laughs> A little butter. <laughs> and for dessert, a slice of Pisces. <laughs> <laughs> What a wonderful dinner that sounds like. <laughs> One corn on the cob and a slice of pie. <laughs> Larry, I'm sorry. Well, I was giving you the silent treatment. Are you upset with me, Scott? <laughs> yeah, I was mad. <laughs> Why? You were talking to those guys instead of me. <laughs> that's, that's the configuration of the chair, Scott. <laughs> Tell you what, I was switch places. All we right. all want to talk to you. Let me host the show. <laughs> okay, yes. Do you have talk show aspirations? Yes. Can I host the show? Please do, the Larry Blackman Show. All right. Do you need an intro? Larry Blackman, 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 <laughs> 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 
if there's beans in the kitchen, don't check the bathroom. Welcome to Larry Blackman. <laughs> Do I do that? <laughs> this is my Scott impression. <laughs> Welcome back to Larry Blackman, where we talk to interesting people. My first guest, what's your name? Where you from? Scotty D. Scotty D. <laughs> Scotty D. Los Angeles, D. California. Los Angeles, California. Home of palm trees. Well, <laughs> time to open the plug bag. It's not as easy as it looks, is it, Larry? Mm. No, it's not. I'll stick to Cameo. <laughs> the service. Do you want to switch back? Yes. <laughs> Bill, you're really missing out, man. <laughs> What's that? It's great. You should try it. What's that? Walking around the store. Oh, did you do it too? I did it too. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> that's going to look awful in the blurry Twitter photo that someone posts. <laughs> Larry, do you have any new projects coming up? We need new music from you. We need Cameo back. Well, that's what I was hoping to come here for. Really? St. Louis, the music city. Is it? Is it? Yes. <laughs> Their hockey team has a, a 16th note as their logo. <laughs> I believe. <laughs> on, a, on a staff? <laughs> no, there's no staff. <laughs> So, <laughs> the <laughs> devil, you say? <laughs> the St. Louis Blues. Oh, the Blues. Yes. Did the Blues originate here in St. Louis? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Does that include the Blue Box Blues? I got the blues. <laughs> if Mama wants to please me, she's only got to cheese me. <laughs> Scott, I need your help writing a song. Anything you need from me, Larry. I, you know I'm here from you. I'm a big, big fan. I, I love you. I need you to do the first verse on my new interpolation of my own song, Word Up. <laughs> sure. Uh, St. Louis specific? St. Louis specific. But only talk about one street in St. Louis. <laughs> Which one? Archway. <laughs> Archway. Something like, um, St. Louis, have you heard the news? Your sports team is called the Blues. Yes. Perfect. Bill? <laughs> now, just musically, <laughs> do I have to rhyme with news and blues, or am I on to a new... No, we're, on a, we're on a Genesis, like, ABA, mm -hmm. CAB... Sledgehammer. ACAB uh, <laughs> rhyme scheme. All cops, all <laughs> cops are ACA cops are bastards. All cops are blues. <laughs> the whole hockey team is police. <laughs> oh, that would be so great. Watch out for those sticks. <laughs> Not everybody likes that. <laughs> Everybody's brother's a cop in here. <laughs> Cops are, uh, they're unusual, right? <laughs> they're strange. <laughs> and I like them. I back the blue. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> all right, Bill, you got a verse for us here? All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Don't, don't, don't. Don't, 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 the clapping is maybe too much pressure overall. Um, all right, all right, all right, so, all right, all right. Okay, hang on. Everybody stand up and make your asses clap. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Robert, right, you have a <laughs> I mean, I'm t- I don't want to cut in front of Bill. <laughs> hang on, hang on, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, all right. <laughs> this is why I got kicked out of my musical improv class. Yeah. <laughs> At UCLA in 1973. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Whether you're (laughs) (laughs) such a strong start, I was there. Whether you're, I got psyched. I got chills when I heard that. I was hyped. I thought, here he comes. It's the album version, you know. We put on a little bit of the beginning so people can feel the real. It's like yelling, I got blisters on my fingers. Yeah. At the end of Helter Skelter, one of the great songs that inspired murder. Hmm. (laughs) What was that? From the beautiful people. Oh, to... (laughs) Let's see. A song that inspired murder. I don't know. The national anthem. I thought you were going to say we built this city by Starship. (laughs) Hey, wait, I got a song, and I think Bill could really help us out with this one. All right, hold on a second. Okay. Hit it, Bill. Like the words? Yeah. All right, all right, all right. Do you know the words? Yeah. All right, all right. There's not a lot of them. I want my baby back, baby back, baby back, baby back. I want my baby back, baby back, baby back, baby back. I want my baby back, baby back, baby back. baby back, baby back. Chili's baby back, ribs. Barbecue sauce. I knew we could do it. I knew we could do it. Don't put a note in the audio version that he whispered to me what to do there. Okay, no, we'll cut that out. Brett, awesome cut from when they were setting me up to the song. None of the downtime. <laughs> right into baby back ribs. Replace my voice with a real one. <laughs> or fat bastard, your discretion. Do we have him singing it on? We could what? hire him. Fat bastard. Oh yeah, it's in the Smithsonian. Does he sing it in the movie? It's in the Smithsonian. <laughs> Fat bastard himself? <laughs> yeah, he's a docent. <laughs> wow. A docent? Yeah. At, at a museum? <laughs> he shows people around? He shows you around. Don't yeah. That's not what happens? Yep. <laughs> That's what happens at the museum. <laughs> One person goes, this is art. <laughs> and they don't get paid. <laughs> it's a volunteer situation. <laughs> <laughs> Scotty D, talk to me. <laughs> yeah. I feel like we let you down, or I mean, I feel like Bill let you down. I Ooh. mean, to be more specific. Bill could never let me down. Uh, are you allowed to do that? <laughs> <laughs> I was going to blame myself, but I realized it was just you. <laughs> hey, hey no. Bill said fuck. <laughs> oh. All right, you're not in trouble. You're not. You're in trouble, Bill. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Although... It makes me wonder, shouldn't some hip-hop group sample Chili's Baby Back Ribs? I mean, it's just sitting there. You know what I mean? Hip-hop hey. groups. <laughs> Name a couple. <laughs> Name some hip-hop groups that are still making music today. <laughs> <laughs> groups specifically, meaning more than one person. <laughs> uh, 
you have uh, the uh, well, the clips sometimes. The who? The clips. Ah, okay. <laughs> you have uh, Migos. Ah, all right. Although they're down to a duo. Mm-hmm. We're mourning that right now. Oh. Ow. <laughs> it's. It's a little unusual to hear that, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it's strange, but I like it. You do like it? Yes. The one that's out was my least favorite member. <laughs> really? No. Who's the guy who makes all the noises? <laughs> the noise? <laughs> Someone's in the back going, Brr! I think they all split those equally. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> I was a, worried. A burden shared is a burden lessened. <laughs> <laughs> Larry, it have you was ever a nice thing to say, but not as much as the gravitas you put afterwards. <laughs> Extra gravitas. <laughs> Extra gravitas. Hold the mail. <laughs> Larry, have you ever tried stand up? <laughs> <laughs> I've been wanting to get into it. You have? Yes. May I use your platform? <laughs> yeah. Do you, uh, do you want a suggestion or do you just yes, want to... Yes, could I get a suggestion? Do you need a, 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 like a household item or do you just anything? Anything. Yell it out. <laughs> Too many yells. <laughs> Sprite is what I heard the loudest. S Right. All right. Do you need an, uh, an introduction? Introduce me. But All don't right. mention my music. <laughs> I want to be respected as a comedian. <laughs> <laughs> Are there any children in the audience? This will be dirty. <laughs> All right. You've seen him clubs and colleges. <laughs> Which colleges? Uh, Name all the schools in the Sun Belt Conference. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> He's already razzing me from backstage. You hear him. He was on Last Call with Carson Daly without the audience. <laughs> Tell them I did the new Arsenio. <laughs> and of course, you've seen him on the new Arsenio. Please welcome Larry Blackburn. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody give me a cigarette. <laughs> A whole lot of white people in here tonight. <laughs> you ever go to McDonald's and get the Sprite? <laughs> and it'd be hot, burn your mouth. <laughs> All right, y'all, that's my time. <laughs> <laughs> Come on back, Larry Blackman. Wow. <laughs> How was that? <laughs> Did it, you like my stool humping? <laughs> it was, I mean, it was strange. And I liked it. <laughs> it was great. I mean, the only person who hasn't done stand up, Bill. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's uh, what's the question? <laughs> you haven't done any stand-up tonight. You want to try a little stand-up? Uh, you... I would love to. I would love to. You'd love to? Do you need a, a, a suggestion or? Yeah. <laughs> uh, this person's waving. Is, is that a suggestion? The Midwest. The Midwest. The Midwest in general. The, the Midwest. Do you need any, uh, me to say any credits? Yes. <laughs> Do you want to mention basketball? Yeah, of course. <laughs> he, he, he wants it. Okay. You've seen this guy in colleges all over the country <laughs> announcing basketball games. 
playing basketball games. Apparently, he won a championship in this very city in 1973. Three. Three. Please welcome to the stage, Bill Walton. Yes. Yes. Hey everybody, have you heard Bill Walton doing stand up and he's gonna say some words Chili trying to figure out the microphone stand because he is such a very dumb man of Bill Walton. Baby back, baby back, baby back, baby back, baby back, baby back. Wow. Oh, he's going Lemmy style. <laughs> I don't know if he said Lenny or Lemmy, but I am a bit of an ace in the hole of spades. Wow, St. Louis, how is everybody doing? A lot of attractive people out there tonight. Yeah, I would have sex. Yeah, I'd have sex with anybody. <laughs> um, um. Uh, I got off my airplane today. First thing I saw coming down the escalator was an ad for a paternity divorce lawyer. That's crazy. What are you talking about? It's a damn airport. A paternity divorce lawyer, that is crazy. That's an airport and I wouldn't expect to see that there normally. But that's the Midwest for you. Bill is done, that's the end of his set. Now he hopes to stay, and that is what you get. Now he's walking around, and he's putting the sand back. He doesn't know what to do. He puts his foot on the stool. Then he jogs away. <laughs> then he's coming back. In time for a rainy day, Bill Walton. He's jogging back to stage. He sits up on the stool and then he acts his age. <laughs> All right, that's our show. <laughs> Love it here. Thank you so much. I'm going to take this with me. 